FBU National Championship is brought to you by Zenith, makers of the X2 football helmet. We're on the road to San Antonio for the 2012 FBU National Championship. Hi everyone, I'm your host Neil Sika and this is the FBU National Championship Field Pass Team Preview Shows. Today, Team Southern Oregon. Their seventh grade head coach is former NFL quarterback Chris Miller. He'll speak to us on all three teams right after this. The FBU National Championship is brought to you by East Bay, where the athletes are. From the creators of the U.S. Army Bowl comes Football University, the most exclusive football training in the country, invites, trains, and announces the next generation of football stars. If you're a 6th to 12th grader with elite football ability, FBU is for you. FBU matches elite athletes with elite instruction. Nominate an athlete today at footballuniversity.org. FBU, by position, by professionals, by invitation only. FBU, you know. Hi everyone, this is Neil Sika, your host for the 2012 FBU National Championship. And for the very first time, exclusive coverage of every game at the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade level. In conjunction with Swink.tv, you can sign up for the FBU Field Pass on FBUYouthNationalChampionship.com. Check out our full game, highlight, and combo packages. And we'll see you on the FBU Field Pass. here on our FBU National Championship Field Pass Team Preview Show on the road to San Antonio. Southern Oregon is new to the field this year in the team in the round of 64. They will play in Portland this Saturday and Sunday. They're opening games at the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade level. Joining us now to preview Team Southern Oregon is their 7th grade head coach, former NFL quarterback and Oregon Duck himself, Chris Miller joining us. Chris, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thanks for having me. Outstanding. Uh, great to have you with us. I know this is just an exciting time for kids all across the board. The sixth graders, they'll play in the first and second rounds. I'm sure that's a good feeding ground down the road for your seventh grade team, which you are coaching eighth grade as well. But uh, let me ask you, where are you getting the highest concentration of kids that are spread across these three teams, Chris? Well, I think the sixth grade team is made up of kids actually from Southern Oregon down in the uh, Medford area, mm -hmm. uh, North Medford, South Medford, Grants Pass. They've had a rich tradition of good football down there. Uh, I know they'll probably be a, a well-coached team, a well-oiled machine for sixth graders, and probably some tough, tenacious, uh, you know, hard-hitting kids. And our seventh grade group is from the Eugene Springfield area around here, the home of the uh, Oregon Ducks. Yeah. And uh, we don't have the we don't have the biggest team, but we have some good athletes, uh, some good players, and. Uh, we hope that our athletes will be able to uh, kind of overcome our lack of size. And the eighth grade team, you know, they just look good getting, out, getting off the bus. They uh, they got some big kids, some big athletic kids, a couple of some speed, so I think they're going to be a pretty good bunch. Chris Miller, the head coach of the seventh grade team, talking to us a little bit about all the Southern Oregon teams as they start play here this weekend in the region of Portland on the road to Reno through the regionals and hopefully into San Antonio. Uh, Chris, tell me about your seventh grade team in particular. Uh, as a coach, what's impressed you offensively, defensively, and uh, who may uh, make a name for themselves? Well, I think one challenging thing uh, with our team is we've only had a couple practices. Um, you know, we kind of, they just got done with the Pop Warner Championships around here a couple weeks ago. So, you know, it, it's kind of uh, throwing stuff up against the wall and seeing what sticks quickly. Uh, so we've had one offensive practice, one defensive practice, and we'll have a couple more this week. But uh, we have some athletes. We have some speed. Um, you know, we're going to have to work collectively together as a group on the offensive and defensive lines. But, you know, it's just a good group of kids. It's an eager group of kids that love to play the game. They're like sponges, and they're excited to continue to play football. And, you know, they didn't want their seasons to end uh, in December or early December. Right. 
Chris Miller, seventh grade head coach. And you bring up an interesting point. The reason the West Regional is starting a little bit later in this FBU National Championship. Seasons all across the Pacific Northwest, down the coast. Uh, we're just finishing up in the last couple of weeks. We're going to talk a little bit more about the eighth grade as well as the Portland region with Chris. Don't go anywhere. This is the FBU National Championship Field Pass Team Preview Show. The FBU National Championship is brought to you by Football University. Elite football training for the nation's top athlete. Hey! Push it, push it, push it good. Lift! Look at the hand, look at the eye level. I like it. Let's take five hits and let it go. He was bouncing right there, he ran right through. It's only one ball, and everybody should be running to the ball. Control the rift. Watch my knees, they go out like what? I'm climbing a big tree. Power comes from what? Through your feet, through your hips, through your palms, through your hands, guys. I've been playing chess since I was nine years old. Chess helps me stay focused. It helps me stay aware. It helps me anticipate my opponent's next move. To see his strategy, find his weakness, and exploit it. Chess prepares my mind for battle, because victory requires my strength, my speed, and my intelligence. My name is Ray Rice, and I'm an enlightened warrior. Introducing the Youth Football Coaches Association, the premier online resource dedicated to improving coaching effectiveness and promoting youth safety for all volunteers. Register free at yfbca.org and begin receiving free youth coaching information, monthly newsletters, certification, and background checks. The most up-to-date concussion information, drills for all positions and skill levels. Learn all types of offensive and defensive plays. Join us at yfbca.org where we are making good coaches great teachers. The FBU National Championship is brought to you by Jersey Mike's. There is no substitute. We're back here on this FBU National Championship Field Pass Team Preview Show. Southern Oregon is new to the field at 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. They'll play in Portland this Saturday and Sunday on the road to San Antonio. Their 7th grade head coach, former NFL quarterback Chris Miller, and he's joining us now. Uh, Chris, we've spoken a little bit to each of the teams, 6th, 7th, and eighth grade, but uh, eighth grade, as you said, they kind of passed the eye test coming off the bus. And, and speaking to this wild card situation, you have an established Oregon team. You have a team out of Seattle that was there last year. They played a really good game in the first and second round, but you guys and then Eastern Washington, this Northern Idaho, which had over 250 kids at their tryout, you guys are kind of the unknowns, maybe looking for a little bit more uh, respect, I would say, across the board as this thing starts this weekend. From what it sounds like, the explanation you just gave me, we might be the unknowns and the <laughs> underdogs, uh, yeah. from what it sounds like. We had a smaller tryout. We just kind of had uh, some kids that, you know, tried out a little bit. We had kids that uh, just wanted to move on to basketball. You know, we had some very good football players that uh, decided they had enough football and wanted to move on to basketball. So, you know, we'll see how we match up. You know, I know we got some kids with good motors, and uh, I got a couple on my team, uh, uh, Kevin Evans and Jaron Banks, who are a couple impressive athletes and I know the eighth grade bunch has some very like I said some some skilled and talented kids we didn't get the cream of the crop from from top to bottom in the area but uh, we'll see if some of these uh, you know top players can kind of carry us and, and again like I said it's a you know both teams we just started practice last Tuesday so we're gonna get four or five practices in before the game Saturday and we'll go fly around and throw it out on the field and uh, see what gives well, out of that Eugene area, not that long of a trip up uh, to the Portland ranks, but uh, should be a fun regional with Seattle, Oregon, and then Eastern Washington in the mix. But 6th, uh, 7th, and 8th grade Southern Oregon, I'm sure will be ready to come and play come this weekend on the road to San Antonio. Chris Miller, the 7th grade coach. Hey, thanks so much for enlightening us on your group, uh, not only your 7th grade team, but 6th and 8th as well, Chris. And thanks so much. Best of luck to you guys uh, on the road to San Antonio. Uh, we appreciate it. Keep up the 
That's Chris Miller, 7th grade head coach, Southern Oregon. We'll have a final thought on this field pass team preview show right after this. The FBU National Championship is brought to you by School of the Legends, Voice of the Players. Hey everyone, this is your FBU National Championship host, Neil Sika, and I gotta tell you what, I am looking fly in my official East Bay FBU team licensed apparel, which you can get for a limited time only on FBUYouthNationalChampionship.com. Orders must be in by December 10th, and you can have that hoodie to keep you warm no matter where you are across the country or that bag to carry all your gear on the road to San Antonio. Visit the officially licensed team apparel store on FBUNationalChampionship.com. From the creators of the U.S. Army Bowl comes Football University, the most exclusive football training in the country, invites, trains, and announces the next generation of football stars. If you're a 6th to 12th grader with elite football ability, FBU is for you. FBU matches elite athletes with elite instruction. Nominate an athlete today at footballuniversity.org. FBU, by position, by professionals, by invitation only. The FBU National Championship is brought to you by Zenith, makers of the X2 football. The FBU National Championship is brought to you by East Bay, where the athletes are. I've been playing chess since I was nine years old. Chess helps me stay focused. It helps me stay aware. It helps me anticipate my opponent's next move. To see his strategy, find his weakness, and exploit it. Chess prepares my mind for battle. Because victory requires my strength, my speed, and my intelligence. My name is Ray Rice, and I'm an enlightened warrior. Hey everyone, it's your FBU National Championship host, Neil Sika. On the road to San Antonio this year, don't forget you can visit our official merchandise shops at every regional site across the FBU National Championship. We've got hats, hoodies, game tickets, and backpacks. Take full advantage and gear up today for your FBU National Championship on the road to San Antonio. We'll see you there. Let's take five hits and let it go. He was bouncing right there. He ran right to you. It's only one ball, and everybody should be running to the ball. Control the rip. Watch my knees. They go out like what? I'm climbing a big tree. Power comes from what? Through your feet, through your hips, through your palms, through your hands, guys. The FBU National Championship is brought to you by Football University. Elite football training for the nation's top athlete. Thanks for watching our FBU National Championship Desk Shows. We're on the road to San Antonio. You can catch all the action by visiting FBUYouthNationalChampionship.com and take advantage of our pay-per-view model. Extended content can be found at Facebook.com slash National Championship or on Twitter at FBU underscore NC. I'm Neil Sika, and we'll see you on the road to the Dome. Until then, so long. The FBU National Championship is brought to you by Jersey Mike's. There is no substitute. School of the Legends, voice of the players.